Hi everyone, this is Yunus. Welcome to my channel. Many people get confused about this concept of dedicated instance versus dedicated host. Many people get confused. Even those people who have dedicated their life to AWS, even they get confused about this particular concept. So in this video, let us try to deconfuse. I don't know if there is a word like that, but in any case, let us try to deconfuse these two concepts, dedicated instance versus dedicated host. Okay, so let's try to understand the differences between dedicated host versus dedicated instance. We'll start with dedicated instance. And instead of starting with the definition, let me try to explain how it works. So I'm showing here two physical servers or two hosts. And you can see that in both of them, there are 10 slots for EC2. And you can see that this green color represents the EC2s of my company and this red color represents the EC2s of another company. You can see that in host number one, my company's EC2 instances are there and there are some free slots. All these are free slots. These gray ones are free slots. Now, if I need a dedicated instance, if I'm requesting AWS to give me a dedicated instance, it will check if it can be launched in the host number two. It cannot. Why? Because this host already hosts a couple of EC2 instances for another company. So this entire physical server is not dedicated for my company. However, if you look at this physical server, it has some free slots plus my company's EC2 instances. So what it will do is it will select one slot from here. Say, for example, it will select this slot and then this EC2 slot will be used for launching my dedicated EC2 instance. Dedicated EC2 instances are EC2s that run on a physical server that is dedicated to a single customer. So it is pretty straightforward. So you can see that this particular physical host is now dedicated to my company or my account. And because one dedicated instance is already present in this, the other available EC2 slots will not be given to any other company. That is how it works. Whereas for the physical host 2, there is no restriction like that. The available slots may be used by any other company. Okay, no other account can open their EC2s in this particular server, which we discussed. And all instances may not be dedicated instances. Just keep that in mind. This instance is dedicated instance, but all other EC2s of my account, they are not dedicated instances. What does that mean? Assume that I stop my dedicated instance. Okay. And at that time, there is no restriction for AWS to use any of the available slots for any other company. And later on, if I start my dedicated instance again, AWS will check if any slot is available in this server. If it is not available, it will find another physical server where only my account's EC2 instances are running and it will relaunch my dedicated instance in that particular host. So there is no affinity between my dedicated instance and this particular host. It is just that wherever my dedicated instance is there, all the EC2 slots in that physical host will be available to my account. It won't be given to any other account. But the moment I stop that dedicated instance, the whole physical server is available for anybody. Now let's move on and understand a few more points about dedicated instance. If you stop a dedicated instance and start it again after some time, it may not be launched on the same host. That's what I just mentioned. AWS may find another appropriate instance to host this dedicated instance. And billing is done per instance plus an additional fee of $2 per hour per region. What it means is if I have a dedicated instance, I will be billed only for this EC2. Of course, I will need to pay for the for the other EC2 separately. But if I have a dedicated instance, I'll be asked to pay for this particular dedicated instance, which will be like 10% premium on the on-demand price. And plus there should be a $2 per region per hour fee, which I have to pay if I have at least one dedicated instance. Even if I have one dedicated instance in that region, I have to pay $2 per hour. Or if I have thousand dedicated instances in that particular region, then also I have to pay the same fees, which is $2 per hour per region. Okay, let's move on. Now let's understand what is dedicated host. Again, instead of going to the definition, let us start with the diagram. So this is a physical server. Unlike a dedicated instance, here 
you book the entire physical server and you pay for the entire physical server you may say that is same for dedicated instance it is not in case of dedicated instance you will only pay for whichever ec2s you have launched and out of that if there is a dedicated instance then you have to pay some extra but you are not paying for the entire server but here you are paying for the entire server and why do you need to do that or what more you get by paying for the entire server a dedicated host gives you additional visibility and control over how instances are placed on a physical server basically it gives you access to things like the sockets the cores which are part of the physical server layer you can use them to decide where to launch your ec2 and why is it required that is required because there are server bound licenses from companies such as microsoft or oracle or rhcl etc which is actually bound to that particular socket or core so you need to know where you are launching your ec2 instance otherwise you will not be complying with the licensing terms so physical server is provided for you to comply with the licensing terms of some of these server bound licenses such as microsoft and oracle if you use the entire capacity of the dedicated host then it will be just 10% higher priced than on demand instances which means that if you are using only one ec2 instance in the entire host maybe it is it is costly but if all the slots you are using it effectively then your overall price will be just 10% higher than your on demand prices and it will be more cost effective than your dedicated instances as well now let us understand some high level differences between dedicated host and dedicated instance the real difference is in the visibility into the physical host that dedicated host gives you so keep that in mind and the visibility is required for bring your own license by ol model such as windows server sql server rhcl licenses etc which are provided on a cpu core basis and then why do you need dedicated instances it is required sometimes for compliance purposes for example for hipaa compliance health insurance portability and accountability act it requires that your infrastructure in which your software is running it is completely dedicated infrastructure for any instances that process your health information so which means that if i go back to the previous diagram you can't process a hipaa compliant application software here it is not allowed you have to do it here itself that is where you use dedicated instance here in this case you don't need to use dedicated host because you don't need the visibility into the core socket etc okay so this particular link which i will again give you in my video description it explains the difference between dedicated host and dedicated instances beautifully you can go through that i hope you enjoyed this video i'll come back with more useful videos in future keep watching please share and subscribe thank you bye